friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing another fun cooking demo for you, showing you how to make two fun different kinds of seasonal holiday treats. We're gonna be doing a pumpkin pie Rice Krispie treat, as well as a pecan pie Rice Krispie treat. These are both treats that have been very popular this year at Disney World. So for those of you who may have seen, uh, Disney, uh, Disney World released a pumpkin pie Rice Krispie this past fall, and they still have them in a few locations. And they just released a couple weeks ago for their, their Christmas holiday, uh, the pecan pie Rice Krispie treats. So this is kind of our take on making these at home. This is a fun recipe that you can do at home with your kids and you can take um, as a fun treat to take to your next um, family gathering or holiday event. And another bonus, uh, if your kids don't like pecan or pumpkin pie, they're probably gonna like <laughs> pecan or pumpkin pie Rice Krispies. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step of everything you need to do to make this easy, easy and delicious treat. Come and join us. First, we're gonna get started by making our pie crust. For this, we're gonna follow the classic Rice Krispie Treats recipe from Kellogg's, and I'll post a link to the recipe to below. You will need a spatula or wooden spoon, butter, Rice Krispies, marshmallows, and a large saucepan. Set your stove top temperature to low heat and melt your butter over low until completely melted. Next, add in your marshmallows and stir until they're completely melted and then remove from heat. Next, add in your Rice Krispies cereal and stir it until it's well coated. Now that we've got our classic Rice Krispies made, it's time to make our pie crusts. So first you're gonna take some butter and make sure and you work that around the inside of your pie plates, covering all the edges so that it doesn't, have, it doesn't stick. And also make sure while you're at it, put some on your hands. So this is a, kind of a key trick uh, to this so that you don't, so that the Rice Krispies don't stick to your hands while you're adding them to your pan because you're gonna to try to form and shape it uh, to look like, the, like your pie crust. I did a double batch, I did a classic batch and you only need half um, because you're not actually gonna fill the bottom crust. So you're gonna use half for each one. I'm doing two. I'm doing one pecan and one and one uh, pumpkin. You're going to make your pie crust by going around the edges and just using your hands to, to slowly just kind of push them to the sides to form your crust. Kind of just go around your edges, pinching and pushing down as you go along to push it to the sides. Kind of pushing those, those in and up against the sides to look like you're inside of your crust. And we're gonna take our second batch of Rice Krispies and fill in the middle to be our to be our filling of our pie. And I'm gonna do this one. This one's a kind of a ruffled plate, which will be really pretty to look like a pie. Uh, you could also use a cake pan for this, um, but I opted to do pie plates so that it looks looks more like a pie. The final step, I'm actually gonna take a little bowl. You could use like a, a measuring cup or something, and I'm actually gonna use that to push around my sides to really push it up against those edges and get a nice round edge. And then you can use butter the bottom of it as well to help you get that flat top that you want for your crust. And see that just helps you to get a nice smooth edge around the inside and push that crust all the way up to the top. And voila, <laughs> we have our pie crust ready. Okay, so this is our half batch that we're doing for our pumpkin pie recipe. So now for this one, you're gonna add in your pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna add in your vanilla. And my secret ingredient, pumpkin pie spice extract, which gives it that punch of pumpkin flavor. And mix that together and it's gonna give you that pumpkin pie look brown color that you're looking for. All right, and last but not least, to make it look a little bit more, more pumpkin-y, we're gonna add a little bit of food coloring. You could use gel food coloring or regular. I'm gonna use one 
Let's see how this looks with one orange and one red. Let's see if we get enough orange. So we have to do one more yellow. <laughs> And just play with it until you get to the color that you want. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the heat. And put in my Rice Krispies. Now we're gonna press that down in the middle. Again, with our buttered hands. All right, we have our pumpkin pie ready. For this recipe, we're replicating the same classic Rice Krispie treats again, only this time we're making it for the pecan pie. So this one you add in pure maple syrup. This is gonna give it that reminiscent of that flavor that you're looking for, brown sugar, and finely chopped pecans. Take those off of the heat, mix them together. Mmm, that smells amazing. <laughs> it really smells good. Okay, and we're gonna add in our Rice Krispies. All right, so now we have our pumpkin pie and our pecan pie. So now we're gonna dress them up to have them ready to eat. So for the, the pumpkin pie, I'm just using a piping bag and this has got a cream cheese frosting inside. And you can use a star tip on that as well. And then just pipe little dollops of your frosting to look like your, your whipped cream to put on your pie. Like I, as if it was on each of the little wedges. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some little fall leaves on here to dress it up a little bit. This could be perfect little Thanksgiving treat. I'm gonna include a dollop in the middle as well. There we go, we have our pumpkin pie all dressed up and ready to eat. For our pecan pie, our, our little touches I, that we're gonna add to this. This is, is um, a hazelnut spread that I've mixed with a little bit of milk and you microwave it in, microwave it for about 30 seconds and it gives you a nice drizzle, uh, drizzling consistency that you can use with a spoon to just drizzle that lightly over the Rice Krispies. And just put as much as you would like on there until you get to the, the look that you want. It's not gonna look exactly like a pecan pie, but it's gonna give you that kind of a nuttiness, sweet texture. And then we're gonna take some full pecan halves to place on the individual wedges, like you would like for your, for your pie. try these. So first I'm going to try the pumpkin pie Rice Krispie Treat. It is so cute. I think that one thing I might try next time is I might try the orange uh, gel food coloring to see if that gives you a little bit more pop of orange. But this looks really good. The, the pumpkin spice is mixed in well. We'll see how it tastes. Mmm. Definitely get that punch of pumpkin spice. That is awesome. 
I think the, the pumpkin spice seasoning as well as the pumpkin pie extract really gives you that flavor you're looking for. We've seen amazing pumpkin spice flavors. So if you like pumpkin spice, I think go for it with the extract and with the spice. If you're not big on the pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice flavor, maybe then just do one or taper down the ingredients a little bit. That is awesome. Love, love that one. I'm gonna try the, the pecan pie. Nice crispy. Let's see how this one tastes. I love how it looks on top with the Nutella drizzled over and the pecans, the half pecans on top. It makes it kind of gives it that look of a pecan pie <laughs> on the, only in a crispy. So let's try this one, see how it tastes. Hmm. This one definitely has, it's a little bit richer and almost like a chewier crispy cookie. You can definitely taste a little bit of that maple, a little bit of that hazelnut coming through, and then a little crunch of pecan, which I actually really like, and the brown sugar coming through a little bit. I don't know that it's like spot on pecan pie, but it's pretty close. I think for a Rice Krispie treat, that's, that's pretty close to getting the flavor profile of a pecan pie, so pretty good. Uh, you might, um, yeah, I might, I might continue playing with this recipe, but this one is pretty good, so I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you if you enjoy this recipe or if you try this recipe, please let us know in the comments below. Let us know if you tried it, if you liked it, or if you tried other recipes like this or other Disney favorites for the holidays. And I would look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.